Yo, what's going on YouTube? Let me let the thing focus real quick. <laughs> so in this video, um, I'm doing a comb over. I don't really do a lot of comb overs on my YouTube videos. I don't know why I don't do it. I don't really get a lot of comb overs like that. I do and I don't. Eh. He came in, dude, he hasn't got cut in like three months. Uh, he was looking rough. Uh, he's a good client of mine. He's a shy kid. He don't really talk much or smile or talk, whatever. The haircut came out very nice. He, he loved it, even though it doesn't show at the end, he loved it, he just... It came out, ooh-wee! Ooh Speaking of Rick and Morty, I love me some Rick and Morty. Um, if you guys like that show, let me know. <laughs> but uh, hope you guys like this video. Stay tuned, y'all. up you guys so on this we are doing a comb over and I am going to be using my one and a half on my wall uh, just to take off the bulk on the sides as you guys can see I am using my comb to push the hair down so I can make it so much easier for me to set a straight um, line because I am going to be um, eventually clipper over combing this so um, it depends on how high you want to set your um, you know your uh, your guideline for this um, you go as high as you want, you go as low as you want, just make sure that it is even and um, and straight. Uh, so just, I'm using a one and a half. Um, I told you guys in the last video, you guys don't have to use one and a half, you can use a two or three, but I like using a one and a half because it, it saves me so much more time and I, and I can also clipper over comb um, that out. So there you guys go. So to set the ball line, I'm going to be using my babyless liners to set my uh, my ball line. So we're doing a low fade, so we're going to keep the hooks on this part. So we want to kind of keep the ball line as low as possible. Well, not as low as possible, but low so you can keep the hooks. What I mean by hooks on the side, I mean so because we're going to eventually line up the side to give it that, you know, that curve. Uh, so we don't want to bring the ball line too high because we want to be able to uh, line that up after we're done um, cutting the hair. So make sure that the uh, the ball line is straight, kind of keep it low, lower than the occipital bone. And um, yeah, there you guys go. So for the first step in this fade, we're going to be using our wall magic clips, the cordless ones of course, um, I like using <laughs> my cordless clippers. So we're going to do a guy line about an inch to a half an inch uh, wide because uh, I do want to stretch out the blend again. Um, I don't want to make it too high because we are doing a low fade. So. I, I am doing half an inch to an inch to just so I can eventually stretch out the blend when I'm done um, cutting. Uh, make sure that the guideline is straight and also you don't want to set it in too hard because if you do it's going to be hard to take out. So you want to basically when you get to the top of where you want to stop your guideline you kind of want to flick out so it kind of makes it not as a hard line. So now we're going to take out that bottom line that we did with the balders. So we're going to close up our lever all the way close. And what my method is, I like to close it and then do halfway and then open. You play with the levers a lot. Um, you always want to use the corners because that way you have more control of the blade and the clipper of what you're cutting. Because if you're using the full blade, you're not really, you're just, you're just cutting whatever. You want to basically have control of what you cut, which hair you cut 
which part to make lighter and you know so that way when you do use the corners you have more control of your clipper On this part, I'm gonna be using my water bottle to wet the hair, cause I am gonna be clipper over combing it. The reason why I'm wetting it is because um, sometimes it's for me. I don't know if it's for you guys, um, but it is so much more easier to to clipper over comb a hair that's wet, because that way you can see the weight. And when I be my weight, is you can see the dark spots on what you want to cut. So as you can see, I'm gonna be going on to the other side, so you guys can get a better view of it. I, um, I'm going to be putting my clipper at a like straight angle, so I'm going to be just be cutting at an angle. I'm not going to be digging into his hair, trying to get this and that. I want to shape his hair into the sh the, like his head size, if you know what I mean. You don't want to make a certain haircut. It does not fit the head shape. Um, and that goes for anything, you guys. Uh, some people, they don't do that. I like doing that because it gives you that more clean, fresh look. So what I'm doing is I'm just going straight up with the with the comb. I'm I'm, go, I'm putting my comb at a straight angle, and whatever hair that's poking out, I just clip it. I clip it, clip it, clip it. You always want to keep an eye at a front angle of the head, so that way you can see the um, so that you can see the shape of the hair because you want to keep the shape and also you kind of want to make it more uh, a smoother transition. So what I'm doing, I'm just basically cutting off any hair that's hanging over, and I'm just clipping it. So right here, I'm gonna be using my number one guard. Um, it's not really gonna make it so much lighter. It's gonna make it light, but not like a, a light that is like, oh, that's a big difference. As you guys know, we did use a one and a half on the side, and that's the reason why I also use a one and a half because that way I can blend into it so much easier because it's a one and a half, you know? So with this one, it's not really doing much. It's just lightening it up. Um, as you can see, I'm also flicking up I'm not really trying to make a hard line. So I'm just flicking, flicking, flicking. That's like the best thing to do, especially in, um, in phase tapers. You always want to flick out. Don't want to make any, you don't want to make it harder than it already is, okay? Cutting hair is not hard, but if you make a hard line, it's going to be hard to take it out. So just make sure you do use the corners. You make sure you flick out and yeah. So as you guys can see, I'm gonna be pointing at this line right here, and I'm gonna be using my one and a half open, just take it out. But as you can see, I'm gonna be using the corners. Um, I'm just gonna be flicking, 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 just so I can lighten it up, and then eventually close it up just a tad, just to make it all smooth and nice. So see, it wasn't that hard, just one and a half, boom, just take it out. So on this part, we have our zero guard, and I'm gonna close that thing all the way close. You see that line right there? I'm just gonna be flicking, flick, flick, flick. I'm using the corners also, so I won't make a hard line. I don't wanna make a hard line, especially in this part, because it's just gonna be hard to take out, like I've always been saying. I said this through the whole video. So, um, using the corners, I, I'm doing the halfway, or close halfway open method. What I mean by that is that you want to Close it and then go halfway and then open. You want to play with your levers a lot, you guys. Make sure you do use the corners and also make sure you cut that way against the hair pattern. What I mean by that is you see a hair going from the right, you cut it from that way. You always want to cut the hair against the hair pattern. Always letting you guys, because you guys can go left, cut right, you know, 
just depends on which hair, which way the hair grows. cutting my client's hair with the shears now uh, I am putting in a lot of water you want to make sure that you have a lot of water in there uh, when you do shear work so that way it doesn't you know uh, mess up your shears and also it makes it easier to cut because it, all the hairs it, it grabs each other and whatnot so what you want to do is uh, you want to make a f first you want to set a guide of where where you want like how long you want the hair to be and once you set that guide you go back and you'll see that the guide's there again. You see that the hair is shorter, so you, gotta, you just gotta keep following that guide throughout the entire head. Uh, I'm not the best at shear work, but I mean, I, I'm still learning uh, every single day in this industry, I'm learning every single day. So you want to basically just set where you want your hair to be cut at, and then you just follow that throughout the entire head. You also wanna do at angles and everything, but um, Especially when you get to the side of the head, you want to cut it at like a 45 degree angle. So right here, I'm doing it at a straight angle. When you get to the side of the head, you want to do it at 45 degree angles. So now I'm gonna be lining up his uh, his side. Uh, you want to make sure that it is a nice and easy arch, and you also want it to kind of um, go with the fade. If you know what I mean by that, is that you don't want to make the arch too archy, so that the fade doesn't look nice. But you want to kind of make it right. So what how how I do it is that I just use I start from the top. And then I work my way down and then I also look at it at every different angle. I look at it from the front angle, from the side angle. You want to make sure that that arch defines your haircut because with that it has made my haircut look 10 times better as you guys can see. Because the crispier it is the better my haircut looks and you want to basically make it perfect. Well not perfect but I mean nice. Um, <laughs> so for the front lineup we uh, I start from the middle and I work my way from right to left or left to right. I say this in all my videos. If you guys are fans or you guys are just every every week watchers, and not every week because I don't post every week, but you guys are frequent watchers. You guys will always hear me say I always start from the middle for my lineups because it is the best way for me, my opinion, okay, to do it because I, um, I tend to, before I used to start from the side and then, that side would not match up with the other side and I end up making the hairline crooked. And so to minimize that, I start from the middle and then that way I can get a clear look at where my hairline and where I should uh, place my liners when I'm lining up the hair. So make sure um, if you guys do follow these steps, start from the middle, you guys. So this video is about wrapped up. Thank you guys so much for watching my YouTube video. Um, also, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you guys have any questions, comment down below. I appreciate you guys. Till next time, I'm out.